हे हाय हेलो एवरीवन आई एम वर्षा साहू एंड वेलकम टू द क्यू ए वर्ल्ड इन माई यूट्यूब चैनल सो टुडे आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू व्हाट इज एक्सेप्शंस बेसिकली इन सेलेनियम एंड वेन विल गेट द एक्सेप्शंस हाउ टू हैंडल दिस एक्सेप्शंस सो टुडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट इट एंड दिस इज वेरी important questions when you are preparing for interview uh, basically interviewer can get much more idea about your answers like you have real experience or not based on your answers for this question so be prepare and give appropriate answer for this question that's it yeah so let's start uh, like uh, top 5 exceptions in java so basically uh, first of all we have to aware about like what is exceptions basically so except uh, an exception is an event which occurs during the execution of a program uh, whenever you execute your program so that time the exception is occurred uh, and uh, that terminal your normal flow of the execution so this is the um, exceptions basically uh, we have to handle this exception so we can uh, avoid this abnormal uh, activities uh, and uh, after that uh, what is the first exception so session not found exception no such session exception so uh, basically it's a compatible issue uh, like uh, chrome is not supported by chrome driver like uh, you had downloaded a uh, chrome driver in your local machine and what exactly chrome version you are using uh, using for uh, browsing purpose so this is not compatible with each other so that is the problem with the uh, compatibility and uh, uh, the cause of this session not found exceptions basically and uh, session not created or not found in selenium web driver that is also a main uh, uh, point uh, when this uh, this exception is occurred like uh, sometimes your uh, browser is closed uh, due to some technical issue and your uh, selenium driver is still finding that uh, browser for executing a script so that's time uh, it is also uh, occurred uh you can see like it looks like this like no such exception no such session exception or uh, session id is null using web driver after calling quit okay and uh, move to next one no such element exception so basically it's a invalid locator like class and id when you are uh, passing any id any class any name any tag name for finding the web elements on the web page so that time if you passed a invalid uh, locators so this is the reason uh, by raising the uh, exception this is thrown by uh, this is thrown by find element method in selenium web driver when the desired element cannot be located using the specified locator so uh, you are trying to reach that element on the back page but you are not able to uh, specify this locator because you are passing a invalid class or invalid id so yeah move to another one uh, yeah, it is looks like this like no such element exceptions this looks like this and uh, next one is invalid selector exception so this is a subclass of no such element exception class basically uh, it occurs when a selector is incorrect or syntactically invalid uh, basically uh, it is happen uh, generally when you are writing your own xpath or your customized xpath so uh, that time you are passing some uh, tag name or some attribute attributes inside the xpath uh, that time is dom is not allowing you uh, due to some reason uh, due to some technical reason so this is the um, cause of this exception and you can see like this uh, looks like this uh, chrome driver has been started browser and application is set up and running but after that another test will start and that time it's throw invalid selector exception invalid selector unable to locate an element within the xpath expression okay and after that uh, what is next timeout exception so basically it is a very common exception in uh, selenium when you giving condition is not met the specified time for example the element was not found in the uh, specified time like uh, you um, uh, provide 20 seconds in your implicitly wait or uh, in your explicitly wait but during that time it is not able to find the and find the element on the web page so the uh, this uh, this time it throw timeout exception basically uh, the last one is 
stale element refresh exception so this is a very important question for uh, interview like if you are applying around four to five or more than three years of experience then interview definitely ask this question like what is the stale element reference exception so uh, this is because of in indicating that reference to an element is not stale and this element no longer appears on the dom of the page so basically sometimes uh, you are uh, um, refreshing your page or sometimes you performed um, some actions and after that you are reaching uh, to that element so during that time this exception will raise and it looks like uh, uh, stale element reference exception stale element reference stale element not found so this is the thing and to in this video i just explain about what is the top five exception and what is the reason of this exceptions raising and uh, in my other video i will come with the solution so how can you uh, resolve these exceptions basically you can also aware about the steps for resolving this exception so this is uh, for uh, that's it for today video thank you for watching bye